Okay, so this is a quick video on how to access the textbook and also how to get the better version of the textbook that actually has embedded tutorial videos about all the skills that you will learn inside of the textbook itself. So it's a little bit confusing because why there needs to be two different textbooks, I don't know, but that's not something I can fix. So in order to get to your textbook, you're going to go to the content area and choose the e-text module. Within that module, there are three different links. The first link is going to take you to instructions on how to access the e-textbook. Um, so if this doesn't make sense, make sure that you definitely read through that. But I can't remember because I've already seen the textbook every time I've taught this class. So I can't remember the first time I did this if it made me log in or create an account. So if you run into that step, just create an account. So to get to your textbook, you click on this URL. And again, this is the point where it might make you sign up for an account and it probably be a free account, but because it is tied into our course, you do have free access to the textbook. So don't worry about signing up for an account. It's not going to start charging you for this textbook or whatever the case may be. So when you get in here, this is your actual textbook and each one of these is the lessons that you need to work through. But like if I go to, let's say lesson four, working with objects, you'll see that in here, you don't have any playable videos. So if you want the cool version of the textbook that has videos for each of these steps, then you're going to go to this section called where are the lesson files, which you actually don't need to worry about the lesson files because they are in each module in the course. I've already um, downloaded them and divided them out per module and you just download them as a zip file. So um, for this though, this is the section where you can come in and get the version of the textbook that has the videos. So if we click on go to Adobe press, it's going to open up this URL. Now yours probably doesn't look like mine again because I have already done this before and so I can't recreate that to show you. But what it should do is take you to a page where it asks you to create an account or it asks you to log in. So do either one of those, whichever one makes sense. If you already have an Adobe Press account, then you just need to log in. Whereas if you've never been here before, you can create an account. So once you have done that, what I would recommend is, you know, just close that again, come back in here, click on this link again. And what it's going to do is it's going to try to register this ISBN to your Adobe Press account and you hit submit. Now, when you do that, it's going to say you have to confirm your book ownership, which means that it wants to make sure that you truly own this book. So to confirm your book ownership, it's going to give you a prompt like this one. So it says in lesson three, setting up a document and working with pages, what is the fourth word in step three under the heading get started? So we're going to go back to this book and we're going to go lesson three. And what does it say? Setting up a document, working with pages. Let's make sure setting up a document, working with pages. Yep, we're right. What is the fourth word in step three under the heading get started? So we're going to look down here. So here's getting started and here's step three. And it says, what is the fourth word? So I'm going to say document and type that in. It has to be spelled exactly the same, has to have capitals if this had a capital, but I'm going to go ahead and hit submit. And then when it does that, then it is going to register that book to my account. You can see that I have a bunch of other books in my account. So now I can click on this and I can get into, yep, well, no, shoot. Where is it? Clicked on the wrong thing. Okay. Those are the lesson files. Uh, account. All right, there we go. Finally. So now when you're in your account, you can see your digital pur purchases. And now I can launch the web edition of this um, book. So when I do that, now it's going to open up that book. It's going to be the same. I can still navigate. But like, remember, we looked at chapter four before. Now, all of a sudden, it has a video here for that skill. If I go to the next page, um, layer, or next topic, introducing layers, has a video about layers. If I go to transforming and aligning objects, it has a video about that. So that is another way that you can use a textbook, but it's really visually friendly. It has narration, captions, all that good stuff, I think. 
I'm pretty sure. InDesign offers several methods for... Yes, and then you should be able to do turn the captions on there. So that's how to access the, access the cooler version. If you don't care about the videos, that's okay. Then just back here, when you click on that second link, the vital source e-text, it should just open up the vital source textbook and then you can go through your um, lessons in the left hand area when it pulls it up. So last but not least, I wanted to show you that the data files are already in the course. So in module one, you can see all this different content in module one. So as you run through module one, you can click on read view and here's the lesson files. You can download it. It downloads as a zip file. You extract that and there's all the files you need for lesson one.